Hello and welcome back to episode 39 of Let's Play Fable The Lost Chapters with your host as always, Madurai Bread. Weird to think that this is probably parts-wise the longest Let's Play I've ever done, and yet lengthwise probably only half as long as Soulstorm. So I am not 100% sure how many episodes are going to be left, but I think there are only going to be two more after this. So in the description I'll have a list of games, and you guys can vote in the comments section on what game I let's play next. Remember, one comment or one vote per person, and uh, just only vote once over the next however many days the let's play goes on for, and make sure that the, the vote is in the comments, not in the inbox or anything, because I'm only counting the comments. <sighs> it's weird to think this game is almost over. We've been playing this forever. Let's report back to Briar Rose. I believe there's only one more soul to get. I'm sure your mother would be proud. Now, there's just one inscription left. The oldest soul. But we still haven't figured out who that might mean. Oh, come now. We both know who it is, dear Briar. You can't protect the old fool any longer. It's the Guildmaster the Shrine wants, hero. Jack? So it really is true. He's alive. And still up to his old mind games. I hope the Guild Acolytes can come up with a better idea. You should go back to the Guild and speak with them. I don't know. We're pretty old, too. Then again, I don't think we can just kill ourselves for this. So let's go see what the people at the Guild say. And I am not killing the Guildmaster. He's an intelligent man who took me in and was very kind. Welcome back, sir. This place has been a mess since you left. People running around with bits of old paper, books flying everywhere. And a guildmaster's only gone and hold himself up in the guild woods. We're not supposed to let anyone near him. We found it. The soul mentioned in the inscription. It must be Nostro. His soul has been trapped in the Litchfield graveyard for centuries. Our texts suggest it should be in the graveyard circle, you know, where you found the tunnel to Bargate Prison. Catching souls? Never heard such nonsense. Well, good luck, hero! Uh, the place has been a mess ever since I left. I was here, like, two minutes ago, but okay, I'll go to the graveyard. I don't think Nostra is going to be very happy about this. I mean, I helped him out before and got him his armor back. But, uh, if I'm going to take his soul, I don't think he's going to take that lying down. Okay, so we're going back up to where the prison was. One of my least favorite areas in the game. Oh, you actually have guards stationed here now. Oh, the guild told us you'd come. Here, I don't know what's going on, but it's like the end of the world in there. But hey, <laughs> now that you're here, we can get the whole thing sorted, right? I didn't join the 5th Regiment so I could stand around guarding graves all day. Oh no, sir. Okay. Well, I don't get it. The spirit of Nostro has haunted this place for as long as anyone can remember. But he's never caused trouble before. I'm telling you, it's like the dead are fighting a war back there. Us 5th Regiment boys have been keeping them in check. But something needs to be done. Talking about these regiments, all I can think is, uh, Imperial Guard with all these regimental people talking in English accents. I play too much Warhammer. Okay, so the undead are fighting the summoners back here. And I'm guessing I have to fight both. I could use a little bit of experience. I want to learn some more spells before the game's over. I really want to see what happens if I just max out every skill, what it'll look like. Might do that between episodes before the, uh, before the final battle. Make sure I have enough experience, you know. In fact, do I have any potions for Age of uh, Will? I do have an Age of Will potion. Okay, let's see if we can get our combat multiplier high enough. It's funny, those summoners actually look like uh, undead.
I'm really actually worried right now about uh, running too long without running into another guy to attack. Because I really want a high combat multiplier. I'm hoping for some big baddies I can just openly wail on without them flinching or falling down. You know, like the big summoners. I can get a big combat multiplier off those guys. I want to try and aim for 50 and then use the potion. I think that'll be enough to max me up by the end of the game. Okay, good. Here's some big high health guys. Just gotta be careful about my physical shield. I don't want it dropping at a time like this. Ooh, this is good. I'm getting a good combat multiplier. That one's out. Are there any more big summoners? Come on, get the experience, get the experience. Ah, no, that guy doesn't have as much health. Okay, let's see what we get off him. And by the time we kill him, I'll use the potion. Okay. 42, that's high enough. Wow. Ah, I could have gotten a little... Oh no, that only got me to 42. Okay. Okay, so I missed out on about 8,000 or something, but I don't think it's a huge, huge deal. Guildsmen, we meet once more. You reclaimed my weapons and armor and brought me peace. Now, I offer my soul in return. But I am Nostra. Mine is a warrior's soul. You must take it in battle so that I may stand proud among my comrades in the afterlife. My men have sworn an oath to protect me even in death. Only when they fall can I be harmed. Now, claim my soul with honor. Okay, you just had a whole bunch of weirdness that I'm still trying to decipher, so... Hold on. You're giving me your soul... You're giving me your soul in exchange for, uh... Ex in exchange for me returning your armor. I feel like I'm getting the way better end of the deal, but then you said that you can pass on to the afterlife once I've took your, taken your soul. I thought you were already in the afterlife. I mean, you're dead, and death is afterlife. So, you know, in lore of this game, would that not be the afterlife? Is there an after-afterlife? Is that what he's talking about? Can I just hit you now? Uh, barely. Okay, I think I have to keep fighting these guys then. Uh, no, I am actually doing damage to him. Okay, so I can only do damage to him when none of the others are alive? Oh no. Eh, it looks like I need to keep fighting the others. Yeah, it looks like I do need to keep fighting the others until he goes kind of solid again, and then I can land some hits. Okay. He doesn't seem to be a very good fighter. You know, maybe if he had a living body again then uh, this wouldn't be such a cheap fight. Wow, you could really farm experience here. Whoa. Alright, this is an interesting fight. Oops, didn't mean to drop that. Although, I'm not really taking many hits here. Uh, you know, I really could have farmed for experience here for a combat multiplier. If I only knew... You know what would be a cool spell to use here? It's an evil spell, so I don't have very high level of it. But, uh... I want Berserk, my mouse wheel... ...is very old! Berserk, it makes you bigger and stronger. Oh, look at the damage I deal! Got the soul? I got the soul! Wow, I dealt a lot of damage there. Okay, right, back to... 
physical shield. Where's the icon for that? Oops. Oh, right, you scroll down and the thing goes up. There we go. Oh, God, I find that confusing. Okay. Guess that's it for this episode. Remember to uh, vote on the next Let's Play if you haven't already. And I think either the next episode or the after episode after that will be the final episode. So thank you all for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.